Hey now, don't look at this. This isn't for children to see. I do not advocate for this lifestyle. I personally only do this kind of shit to numb the pain and force novelty. I ended up bypassing my fear of a big come down by stealing one singular Percocet from my mom. This will not be a habit, I swear. You'll see why in a minute. But since I had a Percocet to take quote unquote for the come down, I decided to take 20 robo tablets or 600 milligrams all at once at 6.30 p.m. Robo tablets are quite a bit stronger than DXM HBR, so that's why this was second plat. What ended up happening on the trip was I started watching random cartoons and 45 minutes in I felt super heavy and glued to the couch before I even noticed the gum up and then after that point I ended up getting vertigo and the body high started and it was nice to get DXM body high again without robo itch. Halfway through the come up I ended up doing laundry while a song was playing and for some reason that was one of the best moments of the trip. I think if you line any experience up with a certain part of a DXM come up it'll make it the best vibe ever. Barely two hours into feeling effects I ended up taking the Percocet that was quote unquote for the calm down and obviously I felt even more heavenly. The body high was smooth and breezy, it wasn't sharp like some high dose DXM trips in the past. I felt relaxed and calm and not too confused to function. I was happy to have a surprisingly manageable headspace. I actually didn't mind the lack of dissociation honestly. By the time 10 o'clock rolled around I did something I never do on DXM trips and that was play Overwatch. Although I weirdly felt functional enough to tried gaming, logging into my stuff was slightly difficult, and the game felt slow as fuck, but I still managed to win one match. I pretty much tapped out after that and went to lay on my bed. I was completely wide awake, I had an overly active imagination, but no super vivid hallucinations. I took melatonin at 10.30pm somehow, despite being high as fuck, and it got lost in the sauce pretty much. I was still wide awake and stuck in a multi-hour messy and slow come down. It was funny because I took the Percocet to stop a quick scary come down but it just ended up making the come down longer and more spread out. It was super manageable though. Just random evil ass satanic vibes. Spooky shit and abstract lately scary vibes didn't actually scare me. That was an okay compromise though. I tried to finesse a come down that turned into a joke. I'm cool with that. By the time 2.30 a.m. rolled around I actually felt completely sober. I mean my walk cycle was still messed up for a hot minute but my wide awake ass ended up just playing some sober games and fucking up my sleeping schedule. And the show goes on. 